Your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pizzano with a look at your headlines. Springfield police seized a loaded gun and arrested two suspects near the intersection of Main and Broad Streets during a traffic stop this weekend. Officers discovered crack cocaine on the driver, 34-year-old Willie Bridges. The passenger, 31-year-old Megan DiGregorio, had several bags of heroin on her. During a search of the vehicle, officers also found a loaded gun. Bridges and DiGregorio have both been charged with a slew of gun and drug-related charges. The Stampton School Committee meeting Monday night to come up with a plan for what's next in their superintendent search. This after two school committee members stepped down and two superintendent job offers have fallen through all in recent weeks. The committee deciding to start the search for an interim superintendent immediately. Candidates will have until this Friday to submit their resumes to the committee, at which point they'll review those materials during their next session on Monday. And Mass State Police, along with the Cape and Islands DA, are looking for the public's help identifying a baby girl found dead at a recycling facility last week in Rochester. The DA says the investigation suggests the health and welfare of the mother may be at risk, and they're looking to find her as soon as possible. The baby's parents may live on or have ties to Martha's Vineyard. The newborn's remains were found last Thursday in trash that appeared to come from the island. Hi, meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. A couple of showers around the area tonight. As we head into Tuesday, more rain is on the way. We'll actually start off the day with scattered showers, temperatures in the 40s, and highs only make it into the low to mid 50s Tuesday afternoon. Showers become a bit spottier later in the day and gradually come to an end Tuesday evening. Tuesday night is looking relatively dry, but we've got shower chances back for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, along with unseasonably cool weather due to this upper level low that's going to be moving right over New England. Now Thursday and Friday it does start moving away from the area so our conditions will slowly improve. Friday looking a little bit better but then the weekend significantly better. So temperatures this week low to mid 50s through Thursday. We've got good shower chances both Tuesday and Wednesday. Rain continues Wednesday night and then Thursday it's hit or miss with a couple of showers around. Friday an isolated shower and then Saturday and Sunday looking dry with more sunshine. By Sunday highs are hitting low 70s. Low to mid 70s look to be on tap through the rest of next week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.